Let's talk about that changing of the guard that we're seeing over at Under Armour. Kevin Blank is stepping down as the CEO of this sports apparel giant. Remember, he started it back in 1995. Patrick Frisk, Under Armour's president and COO, will step up as the new CEO. That's going to happen on January the 1st. Bluebox Caroline Hyde sat down with the outgoing and incoming CEOs of this business to talk about the transition. This is completely my decision, of course, in concert with a terrific board of directors. It's something we've been working on for a while, really, since Patrick joined here two and a half years ago. And that was part of the process of getting to know each other and work with each other and then understand what the vision is. But, you know, recently we've been talking about this idea of moving from defense to offense, where you've seen us in transformation in the last few years. And really, it's, it's just the perfect opportunity for the business to do that. Um, and. What I think this really gives us is this ability for freedom is because as we were growing, it's difficult because as Patrick kept uh, ascending in the organization and you know moving things underneath the Patrick, it was whose hands are on the wheel. And I want to make sure that that's something that's always clear. It's impossible to be effective if that's not the case. And so my move into this role of being executive chairman and brand chief, I still have the ability to work and do the things that I think I need to need to happen in the organization, allow Patrick to run the day to day and I can continue to vision and think on behalf of the business. So Patrick, defense to offense, the vision, spell it for us because you say in the release that it's time the realization of its full potential. What is the full potential of Under Armour? The full potential we laid out, we believe, uh, quite uh, quite good last year in our in our investor day. And and you know one of the great things about this transition right now is is the plan. You know it's been a planned transition. Uh, we worked on it for quite some time. We've also worked on the plan for quite some time, and not just the two of us, but also the entire leadership team and the entire company. Uh, we're very confident that you know the way we're thinking about the uh, the business right now, the way that we're thinking about where we compete, athletic performance, who we're for the focused performer and actually also our brand positioning of the human performance company is going to allow us to continue to be successful inside of athletic performance and like Kevin said you know as we turn the corner into 2020 what you'll see from Under Armour is a louder brand you know we're turning from defense to offense uh, which was planned in, you know all along uh, so we believe the transition now really sets us up to be able to have continuity and leadership consistency and execution and ultimately uh, enables us to win uh, you know Know, over the long term. Ultimately, Kevin asked me to come here to, to help him, you know, with the vision of becoming an eternal brand, and that's what we believe we're on our path to doing. Mm -hmm. And you talk about performance, 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 rather than, say, perhaps athleisure, but you both sit there in Under Armour tops at the moment, gentlemen, and I, I'm guessing you're both going to work out at some point today, but perhaps not immediately. So, Patrick, <laughs> are you going to look more at the athleisure area, or is this really something that you remain very focused upon, ensuring that these are fit for purpose and usable rather than for every day wandering around the kitchen? You know, uh, we, we, uh, we love that question. We love it because we don't look at the two things as separate. You know, today, if you want to appeal to the consumer, and we know this from all the work we do with Consumer Insights, you have to look good. You have to look beautiful. And Kevin loves to talk about beautiful performance or there is no performance without, without beauty. And, um, you know, that's how we think about it. So the way that people ultimately choose to wear our, our, our gear, uh, whether it's footwear, apparel, uh, really is up to the consumer ultimately. Our job is to make sure Sure that 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 product, uh, the gear is is truly not just incredibly functional because our vision of making things that people don't know that they need and once they have it can't imagine living without needs to go through every product that we make. Everything that you buy from Under Armour has to do something. So ultimately, if it does that and it's beautiful, we believe people are going to make choices of how to wear it, whenever and however.